Hawaii scores 78% staff vaccination rate, more than double the national average, and House bill for $450 million for infection control, strike teams for nursing homes, advances. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, February 17th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. A link will be in the description of this video. Hawaii long-term care staffers are more than doubling mainland counterparts in vaccinations, according to a new survey. A report by the Healthcare Association of Hawaii revealed that long-term care facilities in the state have an average of 78% of staff getting vaccinated. In comparison, a report by the CDC found that just 38% of long-term care staff in the U.S. were getting vaccinated. In addition, Hawaii nursing home residents were getting inoculated at a 90% rate compared to a nationwide average of 78%, according to the CDC. Hawaii providers intimated that their vaccination numbers are likely even higher by now because at the time of the survey, some operators hadn't held their second clinic yet. Operators credited frequent communication, leadership, and educational resources as the reason for the higher rates. Nearly a half a billion dollars in funding will be dedicated toward helping nursing homes prevent and limit the spread of the virus in their facilities if the latest measures advanced by House lawmakers for the next pandemic relief package passes. The House Ways and Means Committee completed its round of markups on President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion package late last week. Funding for infection control support to skilled nursing facilities and nursing home strike teams were among the key measures approved by lawmakers as part of the budget reconciliation process. Specifically, the measures call for $200 million for ensuring skilled nursing facilities get sufficient help with pandemic-related infection control measures through quality improvement organizations. The lawmakers also called for an allocation of $250 million for states to establish strike teams to respond to case surges in skilled nursing facilities. The committee said that the moves give skilled nursing facilities the, quote, tools and on-the-ground support they need to contain outbreaks. The committee also called for at least $188 million to be allocated for Elder Justice Act in either fiscal year 2021 or 2022. The allocation, quote, increases public health and social services to combat abuse, neglect, and exploitation of the elderly that has been exacerbated by the pandemic. Multiple House panels passed their pieces of the relief plan last week. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said that she expects the package to be fully approved by the end of February and signed into law before mid-March. This has been your Long-Term Care News Update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.